Did y'all miss me? Uh, I missed you guys too because we are back and this is our go home week of WrestleMania week and what a way to start you off with a huge six woman tag team match and there you see the beautiful couple of Caitlyn Black and Riley Reagan or otherwise known as Millie Jordan for those who don't know I'm Chulio G1K and we welcome you as we are live in Austin, Texas, home of the Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin and this is going to be a show to remember. And yes, I know I haven't streamed in like a week, I had some personal stuff going on, but good news is I am going to be getting WWE 2K24 this upcoming weekend, so... This, I'm going to be doing my pay-per-view this weekend, so be on the lookout as we are set forth as, there you see, Caitlyn Black, who will be facing Roxanne at WrestleMania, and at our tour, Riley Reagan, aka Millie Jordan, picked up a big win in a Battle Royal Last Chance Qualifiers, which means she will be heading to WrestleMania in the women's money in a bank contest so we know there are seven participants and what is up step thank you thank you so much for joining and i'm glad that you're home hey i'm doing good damien i'm doing good so everything's going and good. from brooklyn new york bad girl and this girl as well, she has a chance to make history as well because she has a title match against Violet Parker at WrestleMania. Oh, you had an issue with your other tablet? Well, thanks for coming in, NXT 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, I know I haven't streamed in like a week. I'm sorry, guys. A lot of stuff has been going on. Not personally, but like, I just had needed some time to like get things up to date. And plus, I have to get 2K24. So, to all the ethers that I'm in, I'm going to get 2K24 uh, this weekend. So, so that's included Miss T, uh, Austin Graves, a.k.a. Travel Armless, Step and Tug. I got to get the game. So, I'm getting the game this weekend. I just haven't had a lot of time to do stuff. But these three... They're waiting to find out who Roxanne's tag team partner is. And I'm actually kind of excited because here comes the rock star and Roxanne. And representing the core from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, the rock star, Roxanne Gutierrez Mack. As we know, Roxanne Gutierrez, the third woman to ever become a Grand Slam champion. But well, she's had some issues with her ex, Caitlyn Black, and with Riley Reagan. This is going to be pretty interesting because as I look at it, she is going to have to find partners. Well, we don't know if she's found partners. We were thinking it's going to be Absolution, but Absolution, they are not here at the moment. So we are going to find out who Roxanne selected as her tag team partners. I'm kind of excited to see who she picked up. I know Riley Reagan, Kaylin Black, and Vanessa Legend. They're curious to find out who's going to team up with the Rockstar. Oh. <laughs> well, I think we already knew one who is a longtime teammate of Roxanne. And what backup she got. You got the RSW Women's Champion in the Panama and Batty. From Panama City, Florida, the Ring Stampede Wrestling Women's Champion, Violet Parker. You talk about backup. Roxanne told us that she doesn't have friends. All she needs is family. And yes, Roxanne has called her longtime family member of the Mac family, Violet Parker, 
the RSW Women's Champion, who has a title defense against Vanessa Legend. This is pretty interesting. I mean, think about it. Roxanne and Violet, they are former tag team champions together. Yeah, what it do, Drip Messiah, and what it do, Master CJ. CJ, I hope you're prepared for tonight, because tonight you got a big title match. Not the U.S. title, the Cruiserweight Championship match tonight, as it's going to be pretty interesting. But we still need one more partner. I don't know who is it going to be. I don't know who's her partner. For wait a minute. Is it? Wait, wait, wait. Is it JC or Gigi? I don't know who it is, but Man, representing Toxic oh, Attraction oh, 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 from New York, oh, oh, oh. Town Heights, New York. Talk about a toxic reunion. Mandy Rose is back in RSW. Are you freaking kidding me? We haven't seen Mandy ever since Toxic Attraction decided to go their separate ways. Yes, Mandy Rose is back. The goddess greatest creation, Mandy Rose, a former RSW Women's Champion. We knew Mandy is a longtime friend of Violet Parker and Roxanne Gutierrez. Guys, if y'all don't know, Mandy Rose, Roxanne Gutierrez, and Violet Parker, they were known together as Toxic Attraction. Guys. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. Mandy Rose is back. Oh my god, Caitlin Black, Vanessa Legend, and Riley Reagan. They can't believe that Roxanne's got some backup. But I don't know if it's gonna be the case here. As Riley Reagan went for the cover, but does not matter. And guys, this is the go home shows. As in case you guys. <laughs> you got your popcorn ready? <laughs> well, in case you guys don't know, um, if y'all did not see the Twitter post, yes, RSW will be having not one, but two nights, meaning, like, the whole card, I got 14 matches, so night one is going to be seven matches, and the other one, seven, oh, wait a minute, end of the cover, hook of the leg, oh, no, kick out at one. As you see Violet Parker going after Vanessa Legend. And Caitlyn, nice stance. And oh, Roxanne saying anything you can do, I can do better. CJ, you can't talk to Mandy. You got to get ready for your match. And by the way, uh, this is my go-home show for Rebellion. As I will be doing uh, more shows. I think even tomorrow or later today, I'm not sure. Just be on the lookout. And look at this. Violet Parker with a submission locked in on Caitlin Black and Riley. Riley's got to save. Riley's got to save her wife. And guys, if y'all don't know it, oh, look at this. Poison Rana. CJ going to mess around and get distracted. Well... I hope CJ doesn't have too much of a distraction because his Cruiserweight Championship is on the line tonight. But we do know that Chris Legend and um, Chris Jones, they're going to battle for the United States Championship at WrestleMania. So don't worry, CJ. Your United States title is not on the line. It's your Cruiserweight Championship. And Chris, jo Chris Legend can't fight for the Cruiserweight Championship because he's a light heavyweight. But yes, welcome back, Mandy Rose. A beautiful power slam and a super kick saving Mandy Rose from distraction into the cover and a kick out at one. But guys, a toxic retraction reunion is in full effect. And oh, walks in with a beautiful knee. And there you see Caitlyn and Vanessa taking care of Violet Parker, the RSW Women's Champion. But if I was... Vanessa and Caitlyn, I would find a way to save Riley Reagan. 
And guys, this is one hell. And, oh, pop up kick. This is a way to start you off here at RSW. But guys, momentum could be shifted anytime. I mean, Rey Mysterio was a cruiserweight and got the heavyweight championship. Look, Chris, you you have a US title match. You have a US title match. Chris, you got your US title match. Chris jump. I would, but I would have to drop you down to a cruiserweight. Oh, and for those who don't know, I've been super busy with some uh business. Wait a minute! Oh no, she didn't! Vanessa, you sneaky little bastard! You sneaky little bastard! Stealing the move of the rock star. And thanks to the help of Vanessa Legend, Caitlin Black and Riley Reagan, they get the win. That sneaky little bastard getting the victory. But could that be the same fate for Vanessa Legend to pick up the at WrestleMania? Yes, we know your girl got the win. As they see it, Riley Reagan, Caitlin Black. And Vanessa Legend getting the big win over Toxic, newly formed Toxic Attraction 2.0. Yeah, it is sneaky but crafty. Demon does approve. And yes, and guys, you don't know, this is my match card for tonight. As yes, we will see Bobby Lashley in action later tonight. But we don't know who Bobby Lashley opponent is. We do know Austin Graves is in the building. No, I'm not kidding, bro. I'm not kidding. And as we do know, yeah, win is a win. But yes, we do know that Christian Hawkins will be defending the European Championship against none other than Isaac Knight and Awesome Anthony. But Awesome Anthony is going to have to get his hands on Christian Hawkins 1v1. And as we know, the Nexus problem... I think Isaac Knight got that covered because we do know Isaac Knight is not here, but some person he brought over here, I don't know who he is, but Raymond Sherman is going to have to deal with a guy named Dark Father Kennedy. This is uh, Isaac Knight's dude. I don't know who he is, so I, I feel sorry. And also, we do know that the RSW World Tag Team titles will be on the line against as the core will defend against the Creed Brothers, the Street Profits, and the Judgment Day. So we will see Finn Balor, Montez Ford, Julius Creed, and Lars Malenko in action tonight. And yes, we do know Chris Legend is also going to be in a match later tonight. But Chris Jones is going to have a piece of the action. But speaking of Chris Jones... It's going to be a fatal four-way elimination match for the Cruiserweight Championship. You got Rey Mysterio. You watch back your match and you tried. Hey, it's all good. Like, you never know because WrestleMania is right around the corner. Not just for people like rebel people in Rebellion, but also people in Showtime. And what is up, Kid Memphis? Welcome, welcome, as this is the go-home show of the final PLE. This is the final rebellion. We've been never... S oh, I love 2K24. Okay, because I got a lot of creating I got to do, so... <laughs> but we got our Cruiserweight Championship match. Chris Jones defends against Rey Mysterio, Mustafa Ali, and Prime Time Cedric Alexander right now. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm glad to be back streaming. I mean, I've been super busy, but <laughs> we're going to get things underway. And here comes Mustafa Ali, TNA X Division champion, Mustafa Ali. Yeah, that's the following true. contest is an elimination match. And is for the ring. 
Stampede Wrestling Cruiserweight Championship! Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali! Well, wow, thank you, Damien. I truly, truly appreciate it. And no, CJ, your day is not ruined. I mean, that is if you can survive the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match. I mean, you got worthy Cruiserweight Championship contenders. I mean, Mustafa Ali, who's never won an RSW Championship here in RSW, he gets a chance to make some history. As Mustafa Ali's already in the ring. But this guy right here, he is a former RSW champion himself. And hold up. Give me a second. Yeah, I took care of that. I took care of that. The challenger from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio. As we know, Rey Mysterio, a former RSW champion himself, he has some history with Chris Jones. Back at Money in the Bank, Chris Jones cashed in on Rey Mysterio, and that was one of the best matches. That even won match of the year in the Slammies. But Rey Mysterio looking to become Cruiserweight Champion for the first time. But so is Mr. Primetime Alexander. And introducing the challenger from Charlotte, North Carolina. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander, who's pretty much been keeping an eye on the roster. Remember, he was close to becoming United States Champion as well as Cruiserweight Champion, but came up short in those opportunities. But Cedric Alexander feeling that this could be his last chance at championship gold. But can Cedric make it prime time here in Austin, Texas? This is super exciting. But as we know, the champ may say otherwise. And there you see it, Chris Jones. The champion from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 205 pounds. He is the ring stampede wrestling cruiserweight champion, the Omega, Chris Jones. As we know, Chris Jones, he's pretty much done it all in RSW. Former world champion, the first superstar to ever hold the RSW World Heavyweight and the RSW Championship at some point of his career. We also know he's a former World Tag Team Champion. He's also a current United States Champion and a current Cruiserweight Champion. One of the four horsewomen. Man, why did I say horsewomen? One of the four horsemen. But we also know Chris Jones. If he was ever to be drafted, if he was to lose both championships, if he was ever to be on Showtime and win the Intercontinental Championship, he would become the first Grand Slam champion for the guys in history. Like, no guy has ever been a Grand Slam champion. That's the crazy part. Yeah, I'm being serious. No guy's ever been a Grand Slam champion. We had women Grand Slam champions, but never a guy. But the Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. And it's involved in the elimination match. If you're pinned or submitted, you are eliminated from the match. As Ali, Mysterio, Cedric, and Chris Jones. They are ready for action as Alicia Carr rings the bell. As you can see, Cedric Alexander went after Mustafa Ali. As Ray went after the champ. Chris Jones realizing going after the champ bad move. As Chris Jones, he wants to walk away as a dual champion. Hey, hey whoa, whoa, hey! Look at this. I see Chris Legend. Chris Legend getting a good close view. 
of his opponent come WrestleMania. And guys, if you don't know, Chris Legend is going to be battling Chris Jones for the RSW United States Championship match. Okay, as soon as I get the game, don't worry. I'm going to get everybody who I am bringing back. I just got to uh, get the game. I got to unlock everything from the showcase. Because I'm doing showcase first. I will do my rise a little later, but... Guys, don't worry. I'm bringing everything back. I got to make sure... You got to give me time for 2K24. And that's Cedric Alexander. Ooh, gets stopped with a Hurricane Rana by Rey Mysterio. And Rey Mysterio going into the cover. And a kick out at one. And look at this. Chris Jones. Beautiful X Factor. And Cedric Alexander. Beautiful arm drag. Went for that clothesline, but no avail. The female Maraz takes the cake. Okay, so I'm going to... Because as soon as I get the game, I'm doing a... Uh, Oh, wait a minute. Uh, guys, Chris, what are you doing? Long time, long time rivals, Rey Mysterio and Chris Jones. A beautiful DDT. But Chris Jones, go golly, elbows. And Chris Jones is going on the top rope. And there's that avalanche poison runner. Avalanche Poison Rana by Chris Jones. Oh, but Jones is not done. Because you get hit with Jones' Law. Jones' Law on the Rey Mysterio. Into the cover. Shoulders down and no. Rey Mysterio kicks out. I thought Rey was going to be eliminated right there. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Rey is hit with another Jones' Law. And Chris Jones is not going to waste any time. Cover. And Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio is eliminated. Rey Mysterio eliminated. We're down to three. Chris Jones, Mustafa Ali, and prime time Cedric Alexander. One of these guys is going to walk away. Cruiserweight champion. And Chris Jones is not wasting any time. A fallen dropkick. And as you can see, Chris Legend is watching this. A little bit close up, trying to get into the head of the Cruiserweight Champion. Yeah, this is a good match so far. Uh-oh. I think Cedric has been busted wide open. But remember, pinfall submissions don't count. And outside the ring, you got to go inside the ring. And Mustafa Ali gets a kiss blown by Chris Jones. And Cedric Alexander... And, oh, nice gut buster by Cedric. And Cedric's going to go in the ring. And, oh, avoided disaster. And, guys, this is heating up. One person is going to walk away, Cruiserweight champion. And Mustafa Ali saying, no, 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 no. You're not going to hit me that easily. It would be sad if someone crashed the party post match. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not going too far there, so don't get the hopes up. As guys, you gotta win inside the ring. As Chris Jones, Cedric Alexander, and Mustafa Ali. And a beautiful knee strike to the back. As Mustafa Ali is sending Chris Jones flying. Mustafa Ali, if I were you, I'd get them in the ring quick. And Chris Jones, not going to waste any time. And, oh, my God. Suplex it. Oh, and a neck breaker right onto the chair. Oh, my God. This is one hell of a match. As we can see, Chris Jones getting thrown. And a beautiful drop kick. That's what I'm saying. They got to get into the ring. And a beautiful neck breaker by Mustafa Ali and Cedric. Oh, Cedric tried to go for a, the steel chair, but Mustafa Ali saw that coming. Guys, this is kind of like the same scenario that I had with uh, 
freaking Brie Bella versus Vanessa Legend, and then they were battling at the freaking ramp and all that stuff. And, and Chris Jones is already in the ring. And oh! Oh, I think he clipped him right onto the head. If Ali wins, we'll never hear the end of it. I mean, Ali is the current TNA X Division champion, so I was even shocked he defeated Chris Saban. And up, oh, Cedric and Ali again back in the ring. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I spoke too soon. Uh oh. Oh, it's not good. It, oh, a spray buster. That's Cedric's move. Yeah, about time, but apparently they just got out the ring. Oh, never mind. Never mind it. Oh, come on. Ali, get back in the... Yeah, Bree still won in the end. Like, Bree literally suicide diving and did not hit the end of it. Oh, my God. Can, can y'all get back in the ring for crying out? Oh, God. Guys, I don't want to do it. I don't want to get them out the ring. But at the same time, they got to get back in. And Cedric Alexander with the steel chair and Ollie. Come on. Get back in the ring when you got a chance. Oh, God. Yeah, I agree. They are fighting forever in Austin. They are fighting forever in Austin, Texas. And a drop kick. Guys, I want to get them back in the ring so bad, but watch whenever I get them back into the ring. Watch an instant elimination is going to happen. So I'm just going to not occur anything until something happens. Watch, as soon as I get them back into the ring. And Mustafa Ali with a DDT. And steel chair by Chris Jones. Are they finally going to get back in the ring? No. Nope. A reversal. And good Lord Jesus, Ali with a drop kick. Guys, do they all want the Cruiserweight Championship or not? A oh, suplex. Cedric. Oh, look at this. Cedric. Ooh, gut buster again. And guys, this has got to feel real good. Uh-oh, yep. There you go. Get back in the... Ali, you got a chance while you... Okay, finally, finally, like, finally about time. About time they got back into the ring. And Chris Jones, beautiful, beautiful Hurricane Rana. And Ali is rolled out of the ring. A nice, beautiful sunset flip. And Chris Jones is seeking prime time. But prime time with a beautiful reversal. Beautiful reversal. And oh, Moose so slam. And into the cover. Oh, Ali, you dump it. Ali, you mother. Oh, Ali, you had to ruin Cedric, bro. I gotta be honest. Chris got saved by Mustafa Ali. And that candle sticking. Uh oh. The distraction came in. And there's Jones' Law. Goodbye, Cedric Alexander. Oh, no! No! Cedric is still in it! Oh, my God. I thought that was it. I thought that was going to be it for Cedric. At least it ain't Ollie winning. You don't know that. You don't know that. And Mustafa Ali and Chris Jones. I think this could be it. Goodbye, Ali. And there's the Jones's law. End of the cover. Hook of the leg and Ali's gone. Ali We're down to two. And, wait a minute. Prom Tom. Prom Tom. Boom Buster. No way. Could it be Prom Tom? Oh, so close. So close for Cedric. It would have been prime time in Austin, Texas. 
but it's not the case here. And Chris Jones, there goes that kendo stick. And Chris Jones, oh, he's daring Cedric to get up. This may not be good. And look at that beautiful DDT. And this could be the end of Prom Tom. Oh, this is it right here. That's it. Jones's Law. That's got to do it. Into the cover. And Chris Jones has retained the Cruiserweight Championship. I got to give credit. I thought Cedric almost shot the world. But it was not the case here tonight. And that was when Ali got eliminated. And this is where Ray got eliminated Here's too. But Chris and Jones is still champion. Ring, Stampede Wrestling Cruiserweight Champion, the Omega Chris Jones. I got to give credit to Prom Tom. It was so close. But in the end, the Omega still runs the cruiserweight division that was an epic match I gotta give credit where credit is due you can breathe a sigh of relief that Ali did win <laughs> I mean that was one hell of a cruiserweight fatal four way I gotta give it that yeah that was a good match all around and speaking of match all around Chris Legend is going to be in action after seeing it. And, oh, Lord. Yeah, Chris Legend beat the ever-living crap out of this mon whatever the dude is. <laughs> well, this is going to this is gonna be easy. This is going to be an easy win for Chris Legend. <laughs> As Chris Legend... Yeah, as Chris Legend, he got his pretty much a warm-up. This is pretty much a warm-up for him. <laughs> oh, so I guess, yeah. uh, Chris Legend in action and it's next. Oh, y'all say this. That is hilarious. That is super, super hilarious. As Chris the following contest whoa, is scheduled for whoa, 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 making whoa. his way to the ring from West Hollywood, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, Chris. The legend. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I know we're in WrestleMania season. But Chris, you, Chris, my dude got a bad ass look, dude. <laughs> it's like, hold up, hold up. What the hell is this? Yeah, surprise, I've worked on a few WrestleMania gears. <laughs> I've worked on a few WrestleMania gears. You're welcome, Chris. You're welcome, Chris. <laughs> yeah, surprise, I've been working on WrestleMania gear. Your old entrance? Dude, that was not your old entrance. That was not your old entrance. I know what entrance you had. Oh, Lord. If you're talking tag team, then yeah, that was our tag team entrance back in Fantasy World Wrestling. And here comes th this jackass. Wh why? And his opponent, representing maximum male models from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 175 pounds, Mansua. Man, I swear to God, I will go to sleep. Like, please. Like, we have some good stars, but please don't mess it up with these model BS. Like, he want to be The Rock so bad. Man, he is not freaking The Rock. It's more like a goofball. Like, ugh. Give me a freaking break. Ugh, thank God. I, ugh, I almost had to make my ears bleed my ears was about to bleed if I heard that again but yeah Chris Legend 
Chris Legend got new drip. I'm liking it. Chris Legend got some drip on him. And you're welcome, drip. Yes, if y'all didn't know, I did mess around with some attire, so. But yeah, Chris Legend. And, oh, look at this. What? Oh, God. I swear to God, if Monst this goofball model beats Chris Legend, I don't know what I'm going to do. You got a new attire, 2K24? Well, I'm glad you said that because, guys, 2K24 after WrestleMania, I'm going to be getting 2K24. You just, guys got to bear with me. I will be getting the Deluxe Edition, so I don't have to worry about the DLC packs. Yep. I'm getting the DLC. I'm getting the Deluxe Edition. I always get it. I'm not getting the 40 years one because that's a load of BS. If he beats Chris Legend, you're going to church. Oh, God. I hope to God that don't happen. Please. I beg on everything. Uh, my, uh, dude, dude. Chris, this is not the time to taunt. Because of that. You, 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 you let this goofball get an opening. And this is what happens. Drop kick bot. Oh god, please don't let this happen. Please no. Oh, 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 oh. Monswa, this is not a good time to talk trash it. What the Oh god, what in the world is that? Type of knee bar submission. I swear, please for the love of God. Chris Legend. This is supposed to be light work. How is this is supposed to be light. No, Mom, stop. I'm about to say, Chris. Oh, no. I'm about to say, no, 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 no. Chris, you're, you're, you're playing with your food. I be, If I'm being honest here, you're playing with your food here tonight. You got Chris Jones at WrestleMania. Oh, beautiful kick. Like, don't mess around with this. And Chris Legend... Oh, Suicide Tornado DDT. That was just beautiful. And look at this. A little vertigo. A little vertigo. Back this punch after punch and a knee strike. They better get back in the ring. The flying Mayorana. The ref at the count of four. And full kick right to the face. And another kick. Dang, these tornado kicks is crazy. The referee had a count of six. I swear to God, if this man loses via count of... Chris, you dumbass. Rev at eight. I swear to God, get back in the... Okay, thank you. Thank you. There we go. Finally. Stop playing with the food. Drip drop combo. Please count this up. And let's be on with this. One, two, three. That's it. What? See? See, Chris? See, Chris? This is this is what you get. This is what you get for playing with your food. And Chris jump. And oh, double stomp. That's a little disrespect to Chris Jones there because if y'all don't know... Chris Jones has the double stop as well. Called the piercing blade. And guys, give me one second. I swear to God. Text message. Bro, Here's your the? winner, Mad Swan. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> what the? F oh Lord Jesus, yo. Get <laughs> this is gonna be a joke. I'll quit. I'll quit.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bruh. Guys, what the hell did I just witness? Guys, Sunday looking real good right now. Uh, Sunday not looking good for me because what? What did I just witness? I just witnessed freaking monster. I, Chris, Chris, I told you not to play with your food in the match, and look what happened. Oh. We witnessed a minimum male model moment. We witnessed a goddamn crisis. This is what we witnessed. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I'm about to throw up. But coming up next, got a fatal four-way action. <laughs> hey, Drip, you lucky Marcus didn't check it out. Because if he, if he saw that... Oh, God, he would be busting out laughing at you. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, that was just crazy. <laughs> okay, but anyway, we do have Fatal 4-Way News. The World Tag Team titles will be defended against... The Creed Brothers, the Street Profits, and the Judgment Day. But we're going to have a little fatal four-way match. And what is up, King Spirit Wolf? And this match is right now. Not Step and Tug pulling up. Step already been here. Tug pulled up. <laughs> Step already been here. You took him. Yes, you did. I told you not to play with your food in the ring. But you did not want to listen to the commentator. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, he doesn't because, uh, Spicy, I don't know if you notice or not, but nope, no one backstage in the locker rooms because your DFK, I don't... I think that's your dude, DFK, Dark Father Kennedy. He is gonna be dealing with He is gonna be dealing with Raymond Sherman later tonight. But however, Awesome Anthony is gonna be battling Christian Hawkins 1v1 tonight. And no, the title is not on the line. You guys are gonna be battling in a triple threat match. So no attacking. But this is going to be pretty interesting to see this fatal four-way match. Ew, salt and vinegar? Okay, call me crazy, but I've never been a fan of salt and vinegar chips. I'm sorry. I've never been a huge fan of that. Montez Ford's already in the ring. Here comes one... One fourth of the judgment day, the prince is here in Finn Bala. And his opponents first representing the judgment day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Bala. Yeah, that's true to each your own. And hola, como estas, Millie Jordan? Welcome, welcome. As we are in the mix of a fatal four-way match. Now, this one is not elimination. It's first pinfall to victory. As we do know, the Judgment Day, the Street Profits, and the Creed Brothers, they are going to get an opportunity at WrestleMania for the Tag Team Championships. If you like salt and vinegar tips, you need to be <laughs> Dude, okay, let me ask y'all this. What are y'all favorite type of chip? What are y'all favorite chip flavors? Because I don't get it. Because some people like salt and vinegar. I don't get that. Some, my mom likes dill pickle. My mom likes dill pickles. I don't know how she does it. 
Like, I love pickles, but never a chip flavor. Spicy nacho. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Dill pickles. Okay, spicy nacho. That's valid. Me, don't. Guys, don't kill me. Don't come after me. Barbecue jalapeno. Of course. Of course, Chris. Barbecue is always. <laughs> me, I've. <laughs> Dill is a red flag. <laughs> Me, I'm a sour cream and onion type of guy. I'm not a dill pickle dude. As Finn Balor already in the ring, here comes what happened to Creed Brothers. Probably one of the most underrated superstars I've ever had on this roster. And representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Julius Creed. Sour cream and onion is your second favorite. That would be bar third is barbecue. Yeah, I vote like if I had any chips besides Doritos, I always get sour cream and onion, or I would get a uh, freaking. If I had Doritos, I would actually get the freaking what am I call it, the sweet and spicy chili because the purple ones. Those are my favorite. And, what in the heck? Okay, and am I missing something the here? Core from the Bronx, New York, weighing in at 271 pounds, one half of the ring stampede wrestling world tag team champions, the Destroyer, Lars Malenko. Okay, there's got to be something that I'm missing here. There has got to be something I'm missing. Because I've never seen Lars Malenko in freaking tights. Like, what? I know usually it's Austin Graves, but... what? Okay, I get it's WrestleMania season, but... What the hell? <laughs> You're like, who the... Yeah, Lars Malenko is in the building. Now you see why I turned out that way. <laughs> hey, hey, you can't go wrong with me. I, I love sweet and spicy chili, but don't don't let it fool you. <laughs> Lars Malenko and Tice. <laughs> You're going to church. Oh, God. I mean, we are in WrestleMania season. We are in WrestleMania season. Yeah, Lars Malenko never wears tights. Well... Nev no, he has worn tights in 2K22, but he just hasn't worn them at... He hasn't worn tights in, like, a long time. So, no, Damien. This is beyond you. Now, nah, Lars has worn tights before, so... That was back in 2K22. 23, he always had, like, trunks. And Julius Creed into the cover. Look at the steel one. And Finn Balor with a basement drop kick. Oh, and look at that. Julius Creed. Julius Creed with that brutal ankle lock. And Montez Ford tried to go for the baseball bat, but no avail. And Julius Creed again picking the ankles. And Montez Ford is in big trouble. Guys, if I were them, I'd get in the ring. It Montez Ford gets out of the ankle lock. And Finn Balor going to go into the cover. And Lars Malenko kicks out. And now Montez going into the cover, but Finn Balor makes the save. And guys, this is first pinfall, first serve. And a beautiful shoulder tackle as Julius Creed takes out Lars. And now it's the Creed brothers and the Judgment Day. Oh, taking out the leg again. And this time, I'm going to go into the cover, but Lars with the save. Now, guys, if y'all don't know, it's going to be an eight-way. It's going to be a fatal four-way elimination tornado tag team match, meaning the surviving team gets the tag team titles and Julius Creed saving Montez from a baseball home, home run derby beatdown. And Lars Malenko, oh, big boo just standing there. 
Lars Malenko, in my opinion, one of the strongest superstars besides Julius Creed in this matchup. And look at this. And we see Montez taking care. Montez taking care of Finn Balor. You know the Street Profits and the Judgment Day, they have their history. And the Creed brothers, who were so close to winning the tag team titles back at the World Rumble, but came up a little bit short. Uh-oh. This may not be good. And, oh, I take that back. And Finn Balor saving Lars. And, oh, no. Lars got them steel steps. You know that's not a good thing. And, oh, my God. Yo. Yo. Did y'all see the strength of Lars, bro? Lars just literally threw him over the steps. And there's that lariat. There's that lariat. And Montez, you better look around, pay attention. Yeah, Montez, you paying too attention to the tag team champions. When you gotta be focused on freaking inside the ring. And Finn Balor, drop kick. Uh-oh. Oh, Lars tried to go for the Cyclone, but does not connect. Guys, this is beyond me. This is, uh-oh. Montez, look at it go from the heavens. From the heavens. And the cover. Look at the leg and Montez. Almost would have gotten momentum for the Street Profits. But it does not connect. Oh, Montez, I think Montez is going to go from the heavens with a rolling thunder. And Finn Balor grabbing the steel steps. And oh, super kick at 1916. And Finn Balor, Finn Balor almost got away with it, but into the cover, but a kick out at one. A kick out at one. This is how it is. You got to go first come, first serve for the pinfall. Montez Ford gonna go after the tag team champions and Finn Balor. Finn Balor with a beautiful drop kick. Uh oh. Finn Balor's in the drop zone. Cause here comes the Kuda. No. Went for the Kuda group, but it didn't connect. Finn Balor was. Julius Creed was in the drop zone. Uh oh. Going in for the cover, hooking the leg, Finn Balor, looking to steal one and no. Vanessa and KLS roasting it backstage, as they should, because what the heck? You, le you let a model beat you. And Julius Creed in the drum soda again, but this time he does not, he does not get out of the way. And Montez Ford saving the matchup. In this fatal four-way, like I gotta be honest, you you deserve to get roasted. Cause how do you let Montsua beat you ahead of WrestleMania? Like, dude, if that killed your momentum, I don't know what else did. And Montez Ford, like I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jim, but you you do deserve to get laughed at. I'm sorry. And Lars Malenko. Batting down the hatches with a Cyclone. Cyclone. And into the cover. And Finn Balor getting in the way of Carter J. And Finn Balor going for that cross face. And saved by Montez Ford. Guys, this is one hell of a fatal four-way match. Imagine how this would be if when the tag team... When the tag team elimination match is going to be on the line. That's going to be pretty good. But guys, as we see, Montez Ford. Oh, and after Lars Malenko. As Julius Creed is already in the ring. Like, good Lord Jesus. This, God God. Goddamn, Julius Creed going a home run derby on both Montez Ford and Finn Balor. This is like a home run derby. Lars is already in the ring. 
Uh-oh. Yeah, this is not a good one if you grab it at steel chair. And guys, uh-oh. This may not be good. Oh, and a power bomb, but not through yet. A second one. This is why Lars is strong. A triple power bomb trifecta. It, oh, good lord. Guys, I know we're in WrestleMania season. And there's a sling blade by Finn Balor. And there's a boot by Julius. And look at this. Standing Uranagi. T-bone suplex. Like, this is one hell of a fatal four-way, guys. Like, I'm giving y'all straight bangers back to back. And Julius Creed. And oh my god! Lars with the straight bet Montez over there shimmying. Like, really? You're not. This is not Stephen Curry. This is not the NBA. And, oh, a military press power slam. And Lars, if I were you, get your ass in the ring and take care of Finn Balor. Oh, oh my gosh. God darn it. Guys, I think this match may continue on. Until somebody get their ass in the ring. Like, Lord Jesus. Montez. Saw Lars Malenko. And, oh, so nice tackle by Julius Creed. And there's a sling blade by Finn Balor. Oh, God. Get, get back in the ring. Well, there you go. Lars led Finn Balor back into the ring. And now, oh, now there goes Julius. Sending Lars in. Super kick connects by Montez. Uh-oh. Look at it go. Oh, Claymore. Claymore. And the cover. Nice boot by Lars. Hits the Claymore, but Montez... Montez was going to go from the heavens on Finn Balor, but Lars came from out of nowhere and down goes and tried to hit him with the kendo stick, but good Lord Jesus, this is one hell of a fatal four-way that we're seeing, and uh-oh, oh, Lars was looking for Wrath of the Gods, Lars was looking for Wrath of the Gods, and he tried to hit it, but Julius Creed saying, hell no, you're not going to hit Rob of the Gods on me. And Finn Balor looking to steal one here. And no, again, this is the type of action we're going to see, but it's going to be elimination style rules. I'm shocked no one's got the victory yet. Uh-oh, this may not be good. And oh, and there's the Cyclone. And Finn Balor again with the save. Oh, Finn Balor, look at the steal one. 1916. Oh, Finn can steal it. Finn can steal this one. And he does. Finn Balor steals one. As he gets momentum for the Judgment Day. Right place. Right timing. For Finn Balor. And there you see it. This type of action you don't see nowhere. And there was the 1916. Finn Balor. Could this be one half of the new tag team champions? Could the Judgment Day walk out as tag team champions? That was one hell of a fatal four way. I got to give it that. But Finn Balor gets momentum for the Judgment Day. Wow. 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 That was an epic fatal four-way match. Congratulations to Finn Balor giving momentum for his team come WrestleMania. But guys, coming up next, we do have next is going to be in action. Now, we do know... We do know that freaking Isaac Knight is not here, is in the arena. 
But Isaac Knight is not going to be competing as he's got to prep for his WrestleMania Championship Triple Threat match. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. But coming up next, we got a new debut in freaking Dark Father Kennedy. Guys, I don't know who this guy is. Like, this is someone that freaking uh, Isaac Knight brought up. So, I don't know who he is, but this is going to be pretty interesting. But Raymond Sherman, I hope you got your work cut out for you, buddy. This match is next. That guy got his work cut out for him. I'll give you that. Because here comes Raymond freaking Sherman. Raymond Sherman. I hope you're prepared. I, I don't know who this guy is, but Raymond Sherman doesn't like he gives a damn. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Nexus from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 264 pounds, the unpredictable Raymond Sherman. Raymond Sherman, former television champion, former RSW World Heavyweight Champion. Raymond Sherman, he doesn't give a damn who Isaac Knight brings to the fight. You bring him, I'm just going to knock him down. He says bring him and I'm just going to knock him down. And... Oh, Lord Jesus. And his Good. opponent from New York, weighing in at 275 pounds, Warlord Harvey King. Good Lord Jesus, this is this is pretty interesting to see because guys, this is known as Dark Father Kennedy. This is uh Isaac Knights. I, I guys, I don't know what to call this because it is it is pretty unique. I'll give him that, but guys, I, I don't know who this guy is. Like I, I have no clue. We, th th no one's giving me, like, any information. Like, no one's giving me, like, any, like, whatchamacallit. But, what happened to the entrance? I don't know. I literally just downloaded him from Community Creations. And this is what the entrance was. He had a custom entrance. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, but all I know is he's making his debut. And here we go. Hey, good, good Lord Jesus. A back elbow. Cross-legged brainbuster. Like, we're, we'll see what Dark Father Kennedy is all about. Yeah, 2K is tripping. But that's one rookie move you can't do, Dark Father Kennedy. You can't turn your back on superstars, especially if they are former champions in the company. You can't turn your back on them. So we know Raymond Sherman, a former television champion and also a former world heavyweight champion. If y'all don't know, Raymond Sherman won the world heavyweight championship back at Extinction, defeating Marcus Mack before losing it, getting cashed in on by Seth Rollins. And oh lord, go golly, god, okay, 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 god, dang, he's still not done. It oh, punch right to the face, kind of like a beats of Boldrin. But I agree, 2K is tripping though. 2K is tripping, into the cover, and an instant kick out. And now you see... Leg drop, but not done yet. And another leg drop. I gotta admit, that's pretty good from Dark Father Kennedy, but 
You're in the ring against the former world champion, Raymond Sherman. It, oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about. The strength inverted Alabama slam. And I don't know, Raymond, if that's the time to taunt. But, guys, this is one of the fights that we will see. Nexus. Nexus saying you're either with the Nexus or you're against them. But a lot has gone in the case. And, oh, a punch right to the face. And, ooh, Dark Father Kennedy with that pump kick. That was a nice pump kick right there. And Dark Father Kennedy not wasting any time. And, oh, he just told Nexus to suck it. And rolling cutter. That gives Raymond Sherman a butt bloody face. But, guys, this is a former world champion we're talking about here. And Raymond Sherman not backing down from anything. And, oh, full Nelson bomb. Oh, Nelson slam by Dark Father. Dark Father Kennedy. And we know Isaac Knight is watching this close up. And he's got to enjoy what he is watching from Dark Father Kennedy. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. I don't know what the heck to call that move, but is it enough? Yes, it is. Guys, I don't know what the heck to call that move. I don't know. It looked like a choke slam. Darkest Here's slam. Warlord Harvey Kennedy. What a darkest slam. And it gives him a victory on his debut. I, I got to be honest, like... I've never seen that. But that's a good win here for Dark Father Kennedy. As you know, Isaac Knight, he's got to be loving what he's seeing. There's more where that came from. Well, Isaac, you do have a chance to get revenge on Christian Hoggins at WrestleMania. But you got to wait till WrestleMania. But I know these two are not going to wait for WrestleMania. As Christian Hawkins goes one-on-one -on -one with the former European champion. The weekend they had a nerve to attack the brother. Well, Isaac Knight does have a championship match against these two in a triple threat match. So anything can happen. Anything can happen. But guys, this is our co-main event. Awesome Anthony. Going one-on-one -on -one with the European champion, Christian Hawkins. And that match is next. And speaking of champions, you know this champion. He don't give a damn who you is. Well, despite injury, that man right there, he used it to attack following and become a champion. One fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Nexus from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 192 pounds, the ring stampede wrestling European champion, the assassin Christian Hawkins. Call it what you want, but that man, pretty much the mastermind of why he's a f current European champion. I mean, let's be honest. Christian Hawkins, he is a dangerous dude. From Rancho Cucamonga, he's called the assassin for a reason. And... I don't know if you want to celebrate too much because here comes the man who is just simply none other than awesome. Awesome Anthony, former tag team champion 
former United States champion, former and hardcore champion. Representing the new millennia from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 238 pounds. Awesome, Anthony. As we know, Awesome Anthony will get his rematch for the television. Why do I say television? For the European Championship, but he's got some competition. They got to go up against none other than Isaac Knight and as well as Christian Hawkins, his opponent tonight in this co-main event. Awesome Anthony, who pretty much was one of the guys, if you get hit with a low blow, you automatically going to be fined and DQ'd. But at WrestleMania, at WrestleMania, that all changes because triple threat rules is no disqualification. That's right, triple threat. He can use the low blow anytime he wants. And there, there will be no punishment. And if Carter James don't get out of the way. But Awesome Anthony just... Yes, you missed the whole show. Well, actually, you missed, like, part of it. Most of it, yes. And, oh, and there's a stop by Awesome Anthony. And Christian Hoggins with a drop kick. As this is the co-main event of Rebellion. And Awesome Anthony with a moonsault. Most so connected. And this is just one hit. Wait, hold up. Guys, I'm in the call. Work was hell that last hour. Man, I got out of that bitch like 12.30. That was the time I got out at work. Where I... At UPS and awesome Anthony go hard risk it. Oof, didn't get all of it. Oh no, not not that was Sunday. That was Sunday. Now Monday I got out of like oh yeah, two thirty. Yeah, that was hell. But as we see, but I'm getting word that oh you gotta be kidding me. Guys, Caitlin Black and Roxanne Gutierrez, they still going at it backstage while this match is still going. Like, I don't... Guys, like, they, they're brawling throughout the women's locker room. And, wait, hold up, what? R really? Uh oh, okay, like, I'll let them know. So, guys, like, I'm being told... I'm being told that at WrestleMania, Caitlyn Black and Roxanne Gutierrez will settle things in a last woman standing match. So at WrestleMania, Caitlyn, Caitlyn Black and Roxanne, their rivalry is going to be the last woman. Amazon got a big sale tomorrow. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen there. <laughs> but guys, breaking news. Last woman standing for for Caitlyn Black and Roxanne. As a referee counting to eight. Awesome, Anthony back in the ring. And now, like, oh, good Lord. God dang. Scorpio kick. Referee had a count of two. Guys, this is one way to give a co-main event. And, oh! That's a beautiful move there by Awesome Anthony. But guys, don't forget, main event Bobby Lashley is here. And he is in action. Coming up next. As Austin Graves was sat down with our board of directors. And he told the board of directors... That no matter what, it's time for a change in the wrestling world. And it's going to start with awesome. It's going to start with Bobby Lashley. 
You wish they had the real I Quit match. I agree. They should have put the I Quit match. And Austin Anthony going to go into the cover. Hook at a leg and a kick out at one. Awesome, Anthony cannot waste any precious time. And he's not with the awesome bomb. Awesome bomb, but Christian's foot on the rope. That saves him from brutal pinfall. But I don't know if it's going to save him again. Yeah, this time it's not going to save him. As awesome, Anthony picks up the win. Could that be the fate for Awesome Anthony? Could Awesome Anthony regain the European Championship at WrestleMania? Here is your winner, Awesome Anthony. Awesome Anthony picking up a big win in the co-main event. Yes, the fro is working here tonight. The fro got that magic touch. In the co-main event. And yes. As Wrestlemania is literally. Literally going to be close away. Now before I get to the main event. There are some matches that you guys got to know. And King Sparewolf. You might want to pay attention to this. As we do know. Wrestlemania is going to be history making. So night two's main event. It's going to be the Hell in a Cell 30-minute ultimate submission match between Ivy Gutierrez, Charlotte Flair, and Dallas King. That's going to main event night two of WrestleMania. Now, as we know, we do have some matches that were announced. As we do know, a Fatal 4-Way Elimination Tornado Tag Team match, the Judgment Day, the Creed Brothers, the Street Profits, and the core, they will be in the tag team title matchup picture. And we do know for the women's money in the bank, the Sensation Bree, Kelly Jordan, Carmella, Nikita Lyons, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, Riley Reagan, and Gigi Dolan are already in. Now, the remaining woman, that's yet to be determined. And for the men's money in the bank, we got the ring general, Gunther. Carmelo Hayes, Karrion Cross, Kevin Owens, Sav Rollins, Rey Mysterio, Solo Sokoa, and yes, AJ Wolf will be competing for the men's money in the bank ladder match. Save the throw. I don't think that's going to happen. And then the European Championship match, Isaac Knight, Awesome Anthony, and Christian Hawkins, they will battle it out. And then the tag team titles, it will be in the RSW Tag Team Championships. Imperium is going to be taking on the Usos. And then we also know, what is up, Rocky Blaze? Welcome, welcome. And we also know Vanessa Legend will be facing Violet Parker for the RSW Women's Championship. And then, of course, Austin Graves taking on Bobby Lashley for the RSW title. Triple H will be taking on Marcus Mack for the RSW World Heavyweight Championship. And then U.S. Championship Chris Legend taking on Chris Jones. And this one was just announced. Jax will be defending the Intercontinental Championship against Jeff Hardy in a rematch. And oh yeah, this is going to be the bit best moment. You guys ready for this? At WrestleMania, it will be, for the television championship, six superstars are going to be battling it out. It will be Braun Breaker defending his championship against Jacob Mack, Rob Van Dam, Cody Rhodes, Ilya Dragunov, and Randy Orton. Oh, but get this. Get this. This match for the first time in history. WrestleMania. I don't think WrestleMania has ever done this. Inside an elimination chamber match. Yes, 
You heard it here. Those six superstars are going to be competing inside an elimination chamber for the television championship. Those six superstars, that's history making right there. I told you I'm making history at WrestleMania. But before we get into our main event, this is what happened. As we know, Caitlin Black, Riley Reagan, and Vanessa Legend getting the win over Toxic Attraction. Chris Jones successfully retaining his Cruiserweight Championship against Rey Mysterio, Mustafa Ali, and Cedric Alexander. I'm still on this. Drip, how do you lose to freaking... Ugh. That just a ugh. And then Finn Balor picking up the victory over Lars Malenko, Julius Creed, and Montez Ford in an epic battle. And then Dark Faber Kennedy picking up the win over Raymond Sherman in his debut. And then Awesome Anthony picking up the victory over the European champion, Christian Hawkins. But guys, it is time. It is time. It is of the evening and it's the almighty Bobby Lashley revolution versus unholy union I don't know that's kind of difficult to tell but the almighty RSW champion Bobby Lashley is going to go one on one with Damon Kemp Damon Kemp could pull off a big upset here at on the road to Wrestlemania as we know Austin Graves is going to be watching this close up I'm super excited for this Bobby Lashley and Damon Kemp the match is right now as Damon Kemp is already in the ring here comes the almighty oh -ho! Hey! yo okay there's got to be something I'm missing here Austin Graves with a new look too like, am I missing something here? Guys, there's got to be something I'm missing. Austin Graves just brutally attacked Bobby Lashley. And Damon kept it. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah, you know that wasn't going to face Bobby too long. All it's just going to do is just piss him off even more. But Damon Kemp. Trying to take full advantage of the beatdown that Austin Graves gave to him. And Damon Kemp, he's going to want to win this in the ring. And the bell is rung. And here we go. Damon Kemp, a part of no quarter crew. Alongside Drew Gulak, Charlie Dempsey. And Charlie Dempsey, uh oh, Damon Kemp going top rope and does not connect. And Bobby Lashley. When is this WrestleMania event? This weekend. This weekend. I'm doing two nights of WrestleMania. And Bobby Lashley. Golly. And you know Bobby Lashley's pissed. Bobby is pissed because of the fact that freaking Austin Graves. And Graves got a new look too. Like am I seeing. Am I seeing things here? Like people's getting new looks for WrestleMania. Like, good Lord Jesus. And Bobby Lashley not wasting any time putting in the work on Damon Kemp. Might have to attack Randy Orton. Uh, no, absolutely not. No, you're not attacking Randy. No, because Randy is a part of the fit. No, skills. Skills, I will ban you. I will ban you from the WrestleMania arena if you touch him. Yeah, I will do it. And Damon Kemp. Damon Kemp, shoulder tackle, takes down the almighty Bobby Lashley. Yeah, you heard me. You can't attack my superstars. But as we know, this is going to be pretty interesting. Because Bobby Lashley will be taking on Austin Graves. For the RSW Championship, Austin Graves could walk away with at most two championships or one or nothing. That is do or die for freaking 
Austin Gray. Uh oh. There goes the clothesline. Damon Kemp misses. There's an overhand body drop. And there goes a spine buster from the almighty. I don't know, but deal with it. And look at this. Power bomb. Power bomb by the almighty RSW champion. And Bobby Lashley, he's not wasting any time. Say goodnight, Damon. And there's a Dominator. Dominator locked dead into the cover. Bobby Lashley with the win. And uh-oh. There is his opponent for WrestleMania, Austin Graves. Bobby Lashley is not happy after what just happened. We will see about that skills. You can't be in the match. Uh-oh. Like, I don't think Bobby Lashley and Austin Graves, I don't think they want to wait till WrestleMania. And they're going to go at it right now. Here we go. Graves and Lashley. They're going at it. Security. Security trying to fight them. Let, let them go. God damn it. Let them go. Let them fight. Graves and Lashley. This rivalry's gone personal. And it's more personal. Graves says. You guess you won't do anything? I don't know. But guys, we're running out of time. As Graves and Lashley, they're brawling throughout the arena here in Austin, Texas. Like, guys, this is one hell of a show. And oh, man. WrestleMania is going to be live and well. WrestleMania is going to be live and well. Let's take a look at the news. Yep, the intensity is heating up. Okay, that didn't happen because Chris Legend didn't even win. He lost. But guys, that marks the end of Rebellion. As guys, remember... I will be getting 2K24 this weekend, so be on the lookout as WrestleMania is this weekend, as I'm super excited for that, and thank you guys to everybody who showed up, and yes, I'm glad to finally be back streaming, it's been a long, long ass time, but as always, we're going to end it off with a raid. As let me see who's on. Uh Yep, I already know who I'm gonna raid. And skills don't say a goddamn word. As we are gonna raid my homeboy, my birthday twin. We are gonna go ahead and raid our homeboy big time. As yes, don't forget I will be back probably tomorrow for rage and then thursday i might do showtime just be on the lookout for that as always i do thank you guys so much as wrestlemania is coming up and it's gonna be live and packing and kicking with wrestlemania so as always i'm truly og1k you guys have a good one in texas deuces uh, ooses